Today, I talk about the robotic cataract surgery. For the first time ever, real cataract surgeries we performed on real human patients using a robotic system. Not a simulator, not a model eye, real people. That's new, it's exciting, and it sounds like a major turning point. But these are the real issues. Does this robotic innovation make cataract surgery safer? Does it improve vision compared to what we already have? And if you have cataracts right now, should you wait for this? Hi, I'm Dr. Ilan Cohen. I'm a premium cataract surgeon with 25 years of experience. In this video, I want to look at this realistically. First, what actually happened? Then the real benefits, the real limitations and risks, how practical this is today, and finally, whether I think it's worth waiting for if you need cataract surgery now. I'll also show you footage from one of these early robotic cataract cases. So we're talking about what actually happened in the operating room, not science fiction. Let's start with the facts. A new robotic platform designed specifically for eye surgery has now been used to perform cataract surgery on real patients. The system is called Polaris. These were standard cataract patients. They had cloudy natural lenses and were good candidates for routine surgery. The difference wasn't the type of patient, it was how the surgery was performed. Instead of the surgeon standing over the eye holding instruments directly, the instruments were mounted on a robotic arm. The patient lay on a table as usual, the surgeon sat at the console a short distance away. From that console, the surgeon guided the robot which moved the instruments inside the eye. In the initial small study, around 10 patients were treated. All surgeries were completed and no complications were reported in that group. That's a headline. But what does this actually mean if you're looking for a practical solution for your cataracts. First, let's clarify what robotic cataract surgery really is. In plain language, when people hear robotic surgery, they often imagine a fully automated robot operating on its own. That is not what's happening here. The surgeon is still completely in control. The surgeon sits at the console and sees a highly magnified 3D view of the eye. They move hand controls. The robot translates those movements into very fine filtered motions inside the eye. Think of it like flying a plane. The surgeon is the pilot. The robot acts like an advanced stabilizer. It can smooth out tiny tremors. It can scale large movements into microscopic ones, but it does not think. It does not decide the plan and it does not take responsibility. Robotic cataract surgery today is still human judgment with a new interface. It is not a replacement for the surgeon. So with that in mind, what could this realistically offer? One potential benefit is smoother, more controlled movements. The robot can filter out small hand tremors, make very consistent micro movements and keep instruments steady during delicate steps. In theory, that could improve consistency, especially in routine cases or during training. Another potential benefit is standardization and education. A robotic platform can help less experienced surgeons follow a controlled surgical plan and give teaching hospitals a more stable environment to train future surgeons. Over time, that could raise the baseline level of cataract surgery in places that don't have many high volume experts. There's also the possibility of future access. One day, this type of system could help bring high level surgical technique to underserved or remote areas. In theory, a surgeon could be sitting in New York while the patient is in a region with limited access to experienced surgeons. That's the upside. Now let's talk about the downside. One limitation is loss of tactile feedback. In traditional cataract surgery, I hold the instruments directly. I feel how the tissue responds. I can sense the resistance, fragility, or when something is about to give way. 
with a robotic interface, that sense of touch is reduced or absent. I rely more on visual cues and instrument behavior than physical sensation. In straightforward cases, that may be fine. In more complex cases, that tactile feedback can matter. Another issue is less direct control of the patient's head during the surgery. In standard surgery, my hands are close to the patient. I can stabilize the head and reposition it instantly. If a patient moves, I can react immediately. In a robotic setup, the patient is fixed to the platform and the surgeon is physically further away. We rely more on the system to maintain the alignment. Again, usually fine in routine cases, but less flexible in unexpected situations. Then there's the question of complications. Even with the best technology, complications can still happen. The capsule can tear. The supporting fibers can be weak. The pupil can constrict. The lens can shift. In those moments, the robot doesn't suddenly fix the problem. The surgeon does. That's where experience and judgment matter far more than the device. The true safety net in cataract surgery is still the surgeon's skill. And finally, there's the reality of where this technology is today. This is early clinical trial technology. The patient numbers are very small. There is no long-term data in large, diverse populations. And it's not approved or available as a standard option in most centers. So for most patients right now, robotic cataract surgery is an exciting prototype, not a menu item. Which brings us to the practical question. If you have cataracts today, how does this affect your decision? Right now, the standard of care is manual cataract surgery performed by an experienced surgeon, often enhanced with laser technology that adds automation, accuracy, and reproducibility. In the right hands, this already delivers excellent safety and outstanding visual outcomes. Robotic systems like Polaris are still in early trials, limited to a few specialized centers and not something most patients can choose. So the most important decision today is still who performs your surgery. Experience, volume, attention to measurements and planning, comfort, managing complex situations. Those factors right now matter a lot more than whether a robot is involved. So should you wait for robotic cataract surgery? For most patients, the answer is no. It's not worth postponing necessary cataract surgery just to wait for robotic systems that are still years away from widespread use. Here is the practical implication. Be encouraged that cataract surgery continues to evolve. Robotic systems represent real progress in research and early trials. But make your decisions based on what's available to you now. Get a thorough evaluation. Understand the health of your cornea, retina, and the optic nerve. Discuss lens options and what fits your visual goals. Then ask your surgeon a few focused questions. How many cataract surgeries do you perform each year? What types of lens implants do you use most often? And in what percentage of your cases? How often do you use laser-assisted cataract surgery? Choosing the right surgeon for your eyes and for your goals is far more important than whether a surgery is done with a robot. Robotic cataract surgery makes a great headline, but today your results still depends mainly on the health of your eye, the accuracy of the measurements and the planning and the judgment and skill of your surgeon. And right now, a far more critical decision to make is which lens you choose for your cataract surgery. Click here to learn more about that.